This book smells so good. This is the third time I am filming this video. The third. So if it doesn't capture the sound now, I'm not doing the June TBR because <laughs> this is insane, okay? Insane. <laughs> Welcome back! And if you're new here, hi, my name is Daniela, and this is the June uh, TBR jar picks my reads. So, as I've said before, this is the third time that I am filming this video because the first two did not capture the sound, which just goes to show how desperately I need a new camera. So, we'll get that figured out somehow. But for now, <laughs> I really, really, really hope that it actually picks the sound. Um, and it's just, there's not going to be as much excitement about opening things or picking things, but I'm still going to take you through them. And just for you, it's new. For me, third time, but okay. <laughs> so this video has three chapters, if you will. I have the mystery book these ones here I have a um, choose a book that I've already started and I want to finish this year and the third part is picking the actual TBR jar so uh, I will insert clips from the first and second video that I filmed um, even though they're without sound because I want you to get my genuine reaction but other than that <laughs> I just I'm sorry I will try better another time or by better I mean just buy a camera I'll figure it out don't worry but thank you for being here genuinely love you for being here love you so let's get to it so for those who do not know every single month uh, well at the beginning of last year I wrapped 12 books and every single month I unwrap one of them and these are all secondhand books that I bought last year and the key is that for each month the title of the book has to have the number of the month so June is the sixth month so it has to have the number six in the title and let me just insert a video of how I actually opened this let me scooch over here can you see that I'll just I'll give you a minute okay that should be enough so the book the book of June is The Sixth Man by David Baldacci. This is a mystery thriller. I'm really excited to read this. I love mystery books. I love thrillers and detective like crime detective TV shows are my favorites, so I really look forward to reading this. Even though it's quite a girthy book, but the writing seems very much manageable so i do look forward to this and yeah this was the june mystery book now to get to part two um at the beginning of the year i made myself some reading goals and one of them was that i had 12 books that i've started to read and i want to finish this year um i've started reading them like ages ago but i want to finish them this year and um this month well, for June, I wanted to pick between Wintering Heights by Emily Bronte and James Joyce, A Portrait of the Artist as a Young Man, because they're shorter and just seem a bit more manageable, even though the writing is ridiculous in both of them. But um, yeah, and I was debating between these two, but I went with James Joyce, The Portrait of the Young... Oh, title is so long and I never get it right. The Portrait of the Artist as a Young Man. So I'm going for this one because Emily Bronte just feels a bit more autumnal, if that makes sense. Because at the beginning of this book, it's just, it's rainy and cloudy and terrible. And I don't want that for my beautiful summer. Just aesthetic. Uh, so I picked this one, but both of these books are so strange because when I started reading them, 
I didn't understand anything from either one of them. So this will be interesting, but this is the book I'm planning on finishing in June. I really hope I will manage to, but um, again, we shall live and we shall see. And then it was the most exciting part picking the actual TBR from my beautiful, gorgeous butterfly glass candy jar. But it's not exciting anymore because <laughs> the audio did not record. And I'm still praying that this audio records it, but there is a chance it won't. But anyway, so these are the papers. I'm just going to insert small clips um, of me actually picking the papers, but yeah, here we are. This is the first one. So the first one was the Chinese Ultimatum by Edward McGee and Robin Moore. Uh, then the second one. Lorelei's Secret by Carolyn Parkhurst. And then we have the third one. which is Love is in the Cards by Emma Goldrick. I really hope I said them in the right order. Might not be the case, but I hope I did. And the part where I actually picked the books got the audio. So let me put that in and then I'll talk about the books. Here we are at the actual bookshelf. So let's pick these up and then let's talk about them. Okay, the first one is the Chinese old time the Chinese Ultimatum by Edward McGee and Robert Moore. We have this one here. Then we have Love is in the Cards by Emma Goldrick. This one here. Can you see that? And then we have Lorelei's Secret by Carolyn Parkhurst. This one here. This is such a pretty cover. Um, should I pick more books? Let me see. Hmm, these three. I pick my books. Whoa. I pick my books, so let's talk about them. Okay, so here are the books that I actually uh, picked for the month of June. I picked one extra and I'm going to talk about it. And yeah, so first is The Chinese Ultimatum by Edward McGee and Robin Moore. Uh, this um, begins with a series of Sino Soviet border skirmishes small clashes between the troops of the two big communist powers. But before long, these incidents explode into monstrous proportions and Russia and China are at war. And someone says that this is too incredibly real and damnably possible. Anonymous US State Department official. I don't know what official they got from the US State Department, but I don't know if I believe they did, but I just, I picked this book, but I don't know if I'm going to read it. Also, the writing is tiny, tiny, but just <sighs> this book smells so good. It's just <coughs> so good and so old. But yeah, um, this is the Chinese ultimatum. Also, this video is going to fly through because I already know what all of these are about, but for you, it's a surprise. So I really hope this is a recording the audio, okay. Um, the next book I think is Lorelei's Secret by Carolyn Parkhurst. And on this one, it says, on the afternoon of October 24th, my wife, Lexi Ransom, um, climbed to the top of the apple tree in our backyard and fell to her death. There are no witnesses save our dog, Lorelai. When I heard that Lorelai was a dog, I was mind baffled. I was mind blown. I was just, what? Lorelai's secret talks about the dog? I thought it talked about Lorelai, but it's just so mind blown. Um, and then it says, 
From their first date, Lexi swept Paul Iverson off his feet and brought passion and adventure to his previously stable existence. Unable to accept that her death was an accident, Paul sets out to divine Lorelai's secret and in doing so he learns things about his wife that he could never have imagined. So I'm looking forward to this book so much. Also, there's something about this cover that is just so appealing to me. I don't know if it's the colors, the atmosphere, it just feels so cozy, but I am so looking forward to this. Also, the, the fact that Lorelai is the dog, mind blowing, but I really look forward to this. Also, did you read this? Did you enjoy this? Um, don't tell me what it's about if you did read this, but if you did enjoy it, please tell me because I like when people enjoy books and then I get to read them as well. It just, it's an extra motivation, if you will, but this was Lorelai's Secret. The next book I picked was Love is in the Cards by Emma Goldberg and this, Emma Goldrick, and this is very much a Wattpad fanfiction in the 90s. Uh, this was in 1990. Yeah, it was published in 1990. And on the back of this book, it says, he wasn't the man she was looking for. When Peggy found handsome James Marston lying hurt near her Caribbean plantation, um, she hoped he, would, he was bringing news of an inheritance. She desperately needed the money to save the farm. In fact, he was a financial wizard getting away from it all. It's in that convenient. Um, and he knew nothing about the legacy. However, Jim soon spotted Peggy's redundant crops of arrowroot. No idea what that is. And having problems of his own, he quickly devised a deal to suit them both. Peggy was tempted by his plan, but just what had her superstitious housekeeper meant when she dread Jim's tarot cards and had predicted riches, fire, and love. Wattpad. In the 90s, but yeah. We'll see if I get to read this, but it's a short one. It feels like the kind of book you bring with you to like a picnic or a park or just a walk. And it's just, I don't know, I look forward to it. I really do. So, another book on the way. And then, <laughs> this is a book I picked myself. I was like, should I pick a book? Should I not? Should I? Should I not? But I picked one. I just know you can do with just one. So I did just one. Uh, this is The Rocky Ridge Man by Meredith March. And the cover tells you everything you need to know about the book. Everything. Um, this is like the epitome of Wattpad. Uh, but again, this was published in 1999. So, you know, the first line on the back of the book says, he had buns of steel. And when I tell you that I debated putting this book back on the shelf where it belonged, but we'll, we'll soldier through, if you will. Uh, <laughs> advertising exec Sonia Duncan had no use for cowboys, except as filler for a pair of Rocky Ridge blue jeans. Just her luck that the man whose gorgeous rear fit the bill happened to be the genuine article and no more cooperative than a steer at branding time, a will of iron and a heart of gold. Clint Silver, also the fact that his name is Clint Silver for a cowboy. Wow. Like, couldn't name him Bob or something? No, it had to be the most cowboy name out there. The author was like, oh, Clint Eastwood? It's perfect. Silver, like in a bullet? Fantastic. Clint Silver? This is like the name, but... I'm digressing. <laughs> Clint Silver was no glossy poster boy. And the sooner Sonia Duncan figured that out, the better. He was a man whose blood ran hot just thinking about her. But she was a high-strung filly, and he knew he was in for one tough ride before she'd let him love her. Again, Wattpad. And unlike Wattpad, though I haven't read Wattpad in a long time, this has no trigger warning. So how do I know if there's consent in here? Because consent is very important and these books don't always have it. Um, also this book, where is it? Has like a scratch off thing in the middle. And I even went, where's my coin? I even 
went and got a coin and scratched it off. Where is it? I even scratched it off, but it wouldn't scratch off. How am I supposed to know if I win something from the 1999 if I can't scratch it off? Um, this is just... Maybe I'll try using like sanitary alcohol or like heat, but I don't want to ruin the book either. So um, we'll have to see, but this is just a fun little thing and it wouldn't have been pointless anyway because the address that you have to send it to is in the USA, but I don't know, it would have been a really fun experiment if this Harlequin publishing still exists. I don't, I don't really know if it does, but if it does, it would have been so funny to just send them the postcard and see what they do. But um, yeah, these were the, all the books. Let me gather them all. These are all the books. There are six of them. Again, I went overboard. But I always do. Um, so yeah, these are the books. I really look forward to reading them in June. I hope I get to all of them. And if I don't, that's fine. I just hope I read at least half of them. Um, and yeah, I just, if you have any books you plan on reading in June, please tell me. I'm very curious. And more than that, I'm just extremely nosy. Like I'm such a nosy person. So I really want to know um, what are you reading? And if you've ever read any of these books, though, I kind of doubt you did <laughs> because they're like the most obscure books, except maybe the portrait of the artist but other than that they're just obscure um so yeah um what else was there uh leave a comment leave a like please subscribe i'm a lovely person and i'm just i'm so modest truly the epitome um but yeah i was it was really fun and i really pray that the audio recorded this time you know what they say third is a charm um so yeah i'll see you next time Bye. I just give the earth my soul. Hear my thoughts bounce off the walls.